Friday Night Supper Club. I'm Alicia. And I am Sarah Lynn. And as you know, each and every Friday night, we get together and we do some cooking. And tonight, it is all about paella. We're yeah. using, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gonna be delicious. It's a classic seafood and rice dish with a little Spanish inspiration. And it's gonna take way longer than it needs to. Cheers. So just to be clear, paella is a bit of an epic yeah. process. And it, this recipe especially, I have to say, the method alone is two full pages of text. Yeah. We're gonna start by making the saffron clam broth. Saffron is so expensive. It's Let me tell right. you, I went to the store and like a 0.4 ounce, it's a whole bottle and there's like a little quarter teaspoon of shreds in there and it's $20. It's the most expensive spice in the world. You can find it online a little more affordably, but not much. It is, but it is sort of the quintessential ingredient. What does it even taste in like? An actual paella. But no, let's try it. To be honest, I don't even know what it tastes like. <laughs> I'm too cheap to try it. Yeah, here, try it. Doesn't taste like my own. Um, it tastes bitter. So the yellow hue that a paella is really known for comes from the saffron. So the first step is toasting the saffron and then breaking it up with your spoon. And then the second step is adding your clam juice. First of all, we need to talk about this. I found this in Alicia's drawer and I was so in love with it. It's a bottle opener that is also an ampersand. I mean, I don't drink from many of those kinds of bottles. So it oh. hasn't gotten much use. I actually don't even know how to use I it. I kind of get the sense that whoever gave it to you didn't want you drinking beer because that's not like the most effective tool I've ever seen. Hold on. Turpentine, whoa. Yeah, no one might just use this. All right, it doesn't work. This looks like it'll be real effective. This is clam juice. It's main clam juice, which is the most legit of all the clam juices. <gasps> Look at it turning yellow. It is bright yellow. Okay, it's time to remove it from the heat. All right, it's time to make the sofrito, which is not just tofu from Chipotle. <laughs> it's, it's a sauce, it's gonna give the paella its flavor. Onion, garlic, and tomato. Do you need onion goggles while I do this? Do I need the onion goggles while you cut the onion? Okay, every time we cut onion, I start crying. So she has volunteered to cut, and now she's also volunteered to give me the onion. Actually, I'm already I'm like, I, your eyes, her eyes are insanely they sensitive, are. I didn't know. Okay, I get to do something I've never done. Grate a tomato. This is weird. <laughs> this is very strange. <laughs> there are people out there who are getting ready for the club, going out on the town, you and I. We're, we're grating tomatoes. Grating some onions. Mm -mm -mm. Isn't life great? Ugh. Woo, that's a potent onion. I'm getting a little. That is potent. So the other thing this recipe calls for is eight. Count them eight cloves of garlic. But only four of them are cut. Which is so weird, yeah. yes. So four are gonna be minced, and then the other four are going in whole. We're professionals, we got that done in a lickety split, no problem. This pan is a little big for this burner. So if you've never made paella before, the word paella actually comes from an old French word paille, which means pan, yeah. because the secret to paella is actually one of these very shallow but wide bottom pants. I had to buy this just for this night. We'll link it in the description box below. Actually, this is a 15 inch pan and we're using Fine Cooking's recipe and it calls for a 16 inch pan. So I'm hoping it's all gonna fit. You know us, we like to live life on the edge. Some olive oil. Okay. Is that looking hot? Yeah, it's really hot. All right, so this was supposed to be a third of a cup of onion, but we may have gotten carried away. Juice. As we do from time to time. I didn't even think that that was that hot. Turning it down. Oh, it smells good. It does. I love onion. Oh, my eyes. <laughs> you want to trade? I'll trade. I'll trade. <laughs> the thing about this sauce, this sofrito, is that it actually takes 30 to 40 minutes to cook. Just these ingredients. <laughs> She's not okay. If you're doing this at home, yep. definitely up for medium low heat to avoid that calamity. Set yeah, it says high. it right here. It says 16 inch paella pan over medium low heat. I have trouble with instructions sometimes. Admittedly, that is a lot of instructions. It really It's is. like three pages of instructions. So we want to get our tomato pulp in here. Yep. And then we're going to get our garlic in here. I I'm love garlic. Glad you and I don't have any plans because we're yep. talking eight cloves, team. 
Uh, you can use smoked paprika or sweet. We are using smoked because smoked is better, I think. And then salt. So the idea here now is to gently cook this mixture for 30 to 40 minutes. It kind of feels like hard to believe that that's what's gonna happen. And basically what you're doing is developing a really rich flavor. It's gonna turn dark red. Right. We are actually gonna put it on the back burner because we have like 18 other steps to get through. This is the part we haven't really been looking the most forward to. This is when you start to prepare your seafood. So we're gonna do this in two steps. You're gonna be adding the seafood itself to the paella, but you're gonna use the, the shells and the remaining things for the broth. So you're on muscle duty. Yeah, I have never cooked mussels in my life. Me either. This is, this is the gross part. <laughs> so mussels have a thing called a beard on them that needs to be removed. I've never done this. I didn't know that this was a thing until you said it. Yeah, me. well I've seen, like I said, on Chopped. And I think you're supposed to just use a paring knife to Get, oh, it's pretty easy actually, but it's nice. still nasty. I'm just not a fan of handling seafood myself. I'm a fan of eating seafood, don't get me wrong, I love seafood. But I, to be honest, anyone who's ever watched Domestic Geek knows this, I always buy my shrimp peeled, because even though it's a little more expensive, it's so much more convenient. Mm. But we realize that in this broth, you really need the shrimp shells. You get a great flavor. seafood flavor from them. For our next trick, we are making our seafood broth, not to be confused with the clam broth that we made earlier. Shrimp, shrimp shells. Thanks for doing all that. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're turning pink really quickly. But you have to cook your shrimp shells first to right. get better flavor. A watch pot never boils, sister. It's a boiling. It is indeed, which means it's time for our muscles to get in here. Muscles. Okay, so these the don't. Kind of these actually don't get eaten. No. This just adds flavor, and then we strain it. Indeed. Okay, so indeed. now we're gonna let it simmer for ten minutes. We sure are. I'm gonna reduce this heat just a wee bit. All right, the broth is ready to be strained. Very exciting that you have this fancy pot. Can you hold the lid on? Sure can. This is a very heavy pot. Yeah, it is heavy. Nice. Ooh. You got it. We got it. We got it, Pipe. Woo. You're on it. Okay. And then this clammy saffron. Oh, juice that goes smells in there. real nice in there. It smells yeah. like seafood. So we're going to add Yellow. our beautiful. Oh, yeah. That is a paella broth. And then we have to hit this with some salt, which I had just seconds ago, and put somewhere in the kitchen. Where did I put the salt? And now the only thing missing from this lovely broth is a good helping of salt. It says one and a half teaspoon. And now we're gonna set it aside and get to work on bringing our actual paella together. Yay! And that's actually still not the last step. I just wanted you guys to know. So it's a set aside half a cup of broth. So we're setting that aside. Now we're gonna get our rice in there and stir it in with a sofrito. In goes our rice. Worth mentioning, this is not just regular old long grain or short grain rice. This is bomba rice. La bomba. Which is special for paella. So like arborio is probably the closest. Yeah, it's a nice short grain. Yeah. Rice. We got an even layer. Rice is translucent, smells nutty. Broth in. Let's see if I can Don't do disturb it. the rice. That's the idea. Don't disturb it. Higher. I just want to use the edge of the pan to help sort of break the... Oh, yeah. Okay, now don't it. touch it, let it boil. Do not stir the rice. Oh, it's boiling. Yeah, it's already starting to boil. And then we want the boiling to start to come out to the edges. All right, scallops. We are going to get some oil in this pan. No sticking for us. There. The oil is sizzling, that's a good sign. Salting. All right, I'm gonna man the scallops. You're going to add the mussels. All right. Ah, look at the magic unfold. We're gonna get these little guys in here, nestled in. And we'll put this right in the center. Shrimp time. Shrimp a shrimp, shrimp shrimp. 
Did you, have you ever had paella in Spain? Yes, I have. They make it look so effortless. Like it doesn't look fussy. I mean, it looks like cooked rice with cooked seafood on top of it. <laughs> you don't realize there are this many layers. That it's like 800 yeah. steps. I think we need to cover this to just fully cook the shrimp through. Yes, absolutely, because you don't want to lose too much of that liquid before the shrimp is cooked right. through. So trapping the heat is at this point is a good idea recommended in the instructions. You can tell they're cooked through on the bottom. We just need to finish the top. Yeah, I mean, you could flip them, but then we might risk no. ruining the beautiful presentation. That's not an option. I think the shrimp are cooked. Oh my gosh. Okay. You would think we had done this before. It looks really good. It does. Okay. And it smells, oh my gosh, it smells really good, that's for sure. I'm working on the lemon slices. And I'm gonna add in the scallops, but I'm not gonna use them all. I think we cooked a little too, a few too many. All it says is you move the pan around, and then, until you hear a good deal of crackling, um, and you feel resistance, and then if you smell burning, you take it off the heat, which makes good sense. I think I'm feeling the resistance. That is good. We have no more sliding, which means the moisture is gone. We can turn this heat off. I'm impressed with us again. See? Every Friday, really? I get to feel good about myself. And we get to increase our confidence in the kitchen and eat something delicious. Um, now, you just when you thought it was ready to eat, it isn't. There's still one last step. There's actually two what last steps. What are the steps? The first thing we're gonna do is toss this dish towel over here and make let this sit for five to 10 minutes. Why? Because that's what this epic novel of a recipe says. But we what's have it to doing? Do. It's already Look, all cooked. We're somewhere down here, just in case you were wondering when the video was gonna be over. It's closed. <laughs> ah, ready. Look, the big reveal. You already saw it, but. <gasps> All right, you got lemon wedges. I got some fresh parsley. Oil. I just like to have some fresh green, some fresh herbs. <gasps> it's time. I swear to you, I am like six years older than I was when we started making this. This has so many steps. <laughs> Very involved, but let's I mean, it could taste there. great. All right, I'm into it. Just going in. Oh yeah. Okay. Mm. Mm. The scallop is good, but the rice, the rice is definitely the best part. It's like just, it's cooked through, just crisp enough. Because I think paella, part of the benefit of this pan, rather than it being deep, is it's supposed to get a little bit of a crisp. And the rice. I was concerned that the rice wasn't gonna get cooked through. Yeah. But I think after the sitting, it still continues to cook a little longer because mm -hmm. it's nice texture. I'm doing lemon on a shrimp. Mm-hmm, yeah, you should. Guys, I hope you will give this one a try. If you are going to though, just know you are making an item. <laughs> yeah. We'll link the recipe in the description below. And we will link all of our social profiles so you can follow us everywhere. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any future episodes. We're here every Friday. We'll see you then. Happy weekend. Enjoy yourself. Make some paella. Good times. Try it with the lemon juice. The shrimp? It's good. It's better with the lemon juice, actually. Everything is better with lemon juice. I mean, for as much as the lemon juice is just here for decoration. I'm gonna try a mussel. Mm. I love shrimp.